Hello children. Today I am going to discuss about lesson the digestive system. In digestive system we are going to study about the process of nutrition, the digestive system, the digestion of proteins, carbohydrates and fats. And last topic is healthy and unhealthy food habits. So children first we will discuss about the process of nutrition. See nutrition, what is nutrition? Or from where we get energy? Children, have you thought how machines are working? Suppose you're, you are nowadays you are studying on mobile. If your mobile is not charged, you cannot use your mobile. If your laptop is not charged, you cannot use your laptop. Means for working of mobile or for working of laptop, what is required? Energy is required. So from where they are getting energy? They get energy from electricity. Like that our body. Our body also how it works. If we will not have energy, we are also not able to do any work. It means human body or we also require energy. So from where we are getting energy, this we need to understand. So from where we get energy? We get energy from food. For energy only children, from morning when you get up, you take milk. After that you take breakfast, then you take lunch, then you take snacks, then you take dinner. So have you thought why you are taking after a small, small gap some food? Because if you will not take any edible things, if you will not take food, you will not get energy. And if you will not have energy, okay, so it is necessary to take food because from food we are getting energy. Now, which type of food we should take or what food provides us? In food, different types of nutrients are present. What is present? Nutrients are present in different food, different nutrients. That's why we are eating different type of food. So, this nutrients, nutritive substance or you can say nutrients that we are getting from food. Why nutrients are important? Because nutrients only help us for our growth and they providing us energy next question is there what are nutrients what are nutrients nutrients are the constituents of food that helps in the body functioning what are nutrients nutrients are the constituents of food that helps in the body functioning now from lower classes children you are studying five types of nutrients are there carbohydrate protein fat vitamin mineral and water okay water is not considering as a mineral but it, it is also very important for our body okay so how many types of nutrients are there five carbohydrate protein fat vitamin and mineral from we, which food we get carbohydrate or what carbohydrate provide us the carbohydrate provide us energy carbohydrate provide us energy for doing work, always we require energy. So from where we are getting energy? This energy we get from carbohydrate. Fat also provides us energy. And fat also helps in insulating the body. So we require carbohydrate and fat for energy. Protein, what's the requirement of protein? Protein is very important because it helps in repairing of tissue or in growth of body. So for us, for repairing of tissue, for growing up, protein is required. That's why children, when you were small or now you are growing up, every day you are taking milk. Because in milk, what is present? Protein is present. Calcium is also present. But protein is present. That is very important for your growth. Okay, children, vitamins and minerals. They are also very important. We are getting from different vegetables, from different fruits. Okay, minerals like sodium, potassium, magnesium, iron, they are very important for our body. And vitamins, vitamin A, B, C, D, E, K, different vitamins are there. They, they are required for different activity or for different body function. Okay, so all are very important, but on the requirement of quantity, means which nutrients are required in major quantity and which nutrients are required in minor quantity on the basis of that nutrients are classified into two types how many types two types both nutrients are very important 
but on the basis of requirement nutrients are classified into two types macronutrients and micronutrients macronutrients are the nutrients those who required in larger quantity and micronutrients are the nutrients those who required in smaller quantity so children carbohydrate protein fat these are macronutrients because they are required in larger quantity and vitamins and minerals they require in smaller quantity that's why they comes in category of micronutrients so it should be very clear that both are equally important but on the basis of requirement of our body they are classified okay macronutrients are required in larger quantity and micronutrients are required in smaller quantity now children you you get you are getting nutrients you are from where you are getting nutrients from food now next step is there how many steps are involved to getting nutrition from food because it's not very simple that you take food and after that you are getting energy long process involved many organs are involved for getting nutrition so now i am going to discuss about how many steps are involved to obtain nutrition from food first step is ingestion second is digestion third is absorption fourth is assimilation and fifth is digestion so how many steps are involved five steps are involved ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and digestion now what happened in ingestion ingestion in means intake of food first step is what intake of food this step is known as ingestion as soon as you take food inside digestion starts so what is digestion digestion is the process by which complex food molecules are broken down into simple soluble substances when food get digested after that next step is what absorption the soluble form of food gets absorbed by the blood stream this is known as absorption when once food get absorbed the next step starts that is known as assimilation what is assimilation the digested soluble food is utilized by all the cells of the body this is known as assimilation after that last step is there last step is about digestion when food get digested absorbed assimilate after that removal of undigested food from the body in the form of feces is known as digestion so children how many steps are involved to get nutrition from food five steps are involved ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and digestion thank you